Now when we are working on a project, we are going to include a file called package.json in our project folder. And using a package.json file has two main benefits. The first thing is that it lets you manage the dependencies of your project. For example, if I am working on a node project that makes use of the express framework, then I can specify the express package and the version of express that my project depends on. And the second thing is that it lets you add scripts that help with initial build of your project. Now in this video, let us see how to create a package.json file and learn about managing dependencies and using scripts in the later videos. Now we don't have to manually type the package.json file. Instead, we can use the npm init command. Now I have created a new folder called npm on my desktop and opened command prompt in the same folder. And over here, I'm going to type npm init. And this is going to ask you a series of questions. But the good thing is that npm gives you a default answer to every question. So for now, I'm just going to hit enter for everything. And once you hit enter for all the questions, it is going to give you a preview of how the package.json file is going to look. And now, if I press enter, it is going to create that package.json file in my npm folder. And if I open this with an editor, you can have a look at the contents. We have a name, a version, a description, which is the main file, some scripts, an author, and the license. Now, if you want to create a package.json file with these defaults, we can just use the dash dash yes option to skip through the questions. So I'm going to delete this file. So let's see, delete. And then I'm going to go back to command prompt and type npm init dash dash yes. And now without having to answer any of the questions, it is going to create that exact same package.json file. So if I have a look here, the contents remain the same. And there you go. That is how you create a package.json file.